Alright, let's work on a couple of ratchets. It's a US patent, it says it's a Stanley 89818. Not a bad little ratchet. Somebody's used it as a hammer, it looks like, at one time. Dinged it up pretty good. Uh, it just needs to be cleaned real good. Looks like it's got a lot of dirt. I don't think this thing was used much. Just dirty. These are handy. It's a no-name brand. Nothing on it. But it's got a good detent. It's got good, good angles on it. Just needs to be cleaned. Stiff. I'm going to take it apart and look at it anyways. Yeah, let's take them apart and see what we got. This has got a clip, spring clip in it. Yeah, might be a little problem. Might be a little problem. Let's see what we got here. There we go. Fancy homemade pliers. There it goes. There, there. Now this should just come right out. Oh, that's a nice one too. It's a 72 tooth, it looks like. It's dry as a bone. No grease, no nothing in there. Let's see what kind of paw we got in here. I wonder if this is on a spring. Yep. There's a spring, it's clipped right there. Comes out. It goes in that pocket down there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a pocket down in there. Now here's the question. I've never had one of these apart. So this is new to me, and it looks like, I'll be darned, that doesn't come out unless you break it. Well, I've never seen one like this before. Okay. Well, that's new to me. It doesn't come out. Now, how do they put that together in the factory? There had to be a way. What'd they do? Looks like there's a metal shim right there. See of a way to get that out. That's not screwed on. Well, stump me. How do we get this out of here? like we don't. Well, that sucks. I want to disassemble this to look at the inside of it. I wanted to see. Hmm. be. Well, I guess this is just a cleanup of half a wrench. Obviously I can't get in there to 
Boy, someone did beat up on this thing. Find a hammer, guys. Quit beating on your damn tools. All right. Well, that's all I can do with that one. Let's take it apart and clean it. Let's take this one apart. there not bad people don't use these very often anyways oh this one dry as a bone there is no oil there's no grease there's nothing on this one not a thing now I had trouble with one of these the other day I couldn't get it apart I'm wondering am I the same problem with this one you're supposed to push that detent down inside there and you should be able to pull this out. Well, I say that. I need maybe a little different screwdriver. Let's try something. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's see. There's a detent. Oh, let's see here. Work the flashlight. There, you see the detent down in there? I gotta push that down and pull this up. problems with it the other day. Maybe. Maybe not. Just like the other one, it's so powerful. Yeah, <laughs> almost got it. Almost. Get it apart, how am I going to get it back together? Good question. Let's get it apart first and then we can figure that out. I got it in there. There we go. Oh! Get 
guess what? I lost a spring. It went flying across the room. Yeah, it really sucks. I've lost the spring. I found the... There's the pin I was pushing back. There's a spring that fits inside the cup, in the back of the cup. And the spring resides in the back of that little hole. And of course I've lost it. So I'm going to come up with another spring. I think I've got another old wrench and I like this I like this style I like the little one stubby like that even though it's a no-name brand it's still nice to have one I don't have one so now I gotta come up ah speak of the devil look at there ha <laughs> I found the damn spring now how lucky was that sitting right under the screwdriver cool oh well Clean these up now. Before I go screwing up again, let me get my magnet. Put these two on the magnet, and these two on the magnet, and that on the magnet so I don't lose anything. It's not really that dirty. Clean out the inside a little carburetor cleaner. really wasn't that bad. It's just dry as a bone. It's un unreasonably dry. I don't know why. I don't know if they ship it from the factory like that or... It's kind of strange. A little bit of debris and dirt right in the corners there on the edges. Right down in there, there's a little bit of black debris. I don't know if I'm going to file that off, them dents, or Hear a little bit of trash or something. There was dirt down in there. There is dirt in there. Some black stuff coming out. Okay. It's underneath. Yeah, it's underneath this. Okay. Carburetor cleaner, a little W40, back and forth. Yeah. Oh yeah. Makes a difference. All right. Just a little, just a little bit of rust down inside there. Not bad. got some weight to it. It's not... It's pretty solid. Huh. Thought it'd be cheaper metal, but it's actually not well, not, not bad. It's well built.
Paul on this isn't bad at all. Not much hardly. Not hardly any wear at all on it. And this is what was dirty. Yeah, I don't think anybody really used this much. They just probably just left it lying around. Oh. Let's grab the WD. I should have grabbed the carburetor cleaner. Dirt. I don't think there's. It's really. It's, I don't think this thing's ever been greased. Maybe from the factory they must use just a just an oil. Someone could add this setting in a outside and in the heat somewhere and just evaporated the oil off of it. teeth which in pretty good condition actually and the inside of this is just got a slight little rust in there spots where the rust was at. The rest of it looks in good shape. Oh, did it again. Keep grabbing WD-40 thinking it's the carburetor cleaner. My other video I shot the other day, the, the Proto uh, put the springs in backwards. I had to go back and put the springs in after I, I watched the video before I published it and then I realized I put the springs in backwards. Oops. Somebody somebody catches that on the video they'll they'll say something. Not too many people post replies so I don't worry about it. I'm, I show my mistakes. I don't care. Or at least I try to anyways. 
everybody has these perfect little videos. Now, well, and my editing skills suck. Dirt or something right there. Side of that's pretty good. There's really no dirt on this. This is plastic, by the way. This one, the little hand ratchets, plastic pieces. Still, you know, usually it's not made to apply 100 pounds of torque, anyways. All right, polish these up a little bit. I'm gonna hit that with a file just to see what it looks like. Anyways, we'll we'll go to. The, I don't even think wire wheel. I think just go polish these real good, make them look good. Be right back. All right, just do quickly up these. <laughs>
back to putting these ratchets together. And a little clean up from the rubbing compound, I guess. in there the compound I got some cuts on my hand and that Carburetor cleaner hurts. All right, let's see here. Spring goes, pawn spring goes inside. Ah. Easier said than done. Like I got it out. Can I get it back together? It's a little cheesy operation but it does work There it goes. Oh, <laughs> I got it in there and now I got to take it out because I got to grease it. That sucked. Oh well, done that before. Let's get some grease here. The ratchets. It's a fine tooth, so pretty decent little ratchet, except for the paw and spring in there. That's pretty cheesy. That's yeah, it's a cheap. What is? It? I believe it's a Stanley. But still, I oh mean, made not too bad. I mean, let's see if I can get the camera a little closer. Drop this in there. Gotta push that spring down right there. There it goes. A lot smoother with that grease in there. A lot smoother. simple clip in this one easier said than done to get my finger out of the way there it goes push it down Like it's all the way down. Yeah, it's it is. It is. It is. 
it just rides a little high fits right down there yeah never had one like this apart before never had one like this apart Sounds really smooth now. Some type of cast metal on that. I thought at first it was plastic, but it's cast. Works smoothly. First, you know, U.S. patent number on it, Stanley 89818. Let's, uh, let's put the other one together here. Now this one is tricky. This one, this goes inside there. There's a hole right dead center. spring the little pin goes dead center just like oh yeah magnet hang on I keep forgetting these hint tips of these pliers been magnetized Trying to watch what I'm doing and show it on the camera, it's kind of hard. There it goes. The trick is oh, that sucks. <laughs> I did it wrong. Hang on, back up and punt again. All right, excuse me, the paw goes in. In. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> I need to slow down. I was trying to get this done tonight. Yeah, just take my time. Come on, get in there. There it goes. Pin right there. Through the pole. Now, this hard, hard part, forgot about this. I gotta do this by hand. Gotta put the spring, the cap, the pin, whatever you want to call it, on top of the spring. I gotta compress all that to fit down in there. This should be easier than it was taking it apart. I should be able to see, 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 see. Push that down. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There it goes. Oh, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Cool. I'm going to stick a little dab of grease down in there. Yeah, I don't think it really needs it, but I'm putting it in there anyways. I like this grease. My my tools, my rules. All right. Now. I got it backwards. There it goes. 
I've got, got to turn this about halfway to get the paw in the middle, right there. Slide it back out, I'll show you. There's the paw. It needs to be centered. See how it moves to one side to the other? Just center it there. Now I can put the spring clips. I really don't know what this thing's called. I call it a spring clip. Get it started. This is a cheapy one, but I don't have one like this. So it has a little bit of play, but you know what? It's, it wasn't used much. I like it. Oh, I did it again. Didn't grease it. Somebody out there is laughing at me right now. It's all right. Let's see. Good practice. Good practice. I don't care what anybody says. And I could tell it was too much noise. It was metal on metal. At least I show my mistakes. A lot of guys out there don't show their mistakes. If you see what I do, maybe you won't do it. Get that clip started right there. Oops, it wants to come off. Come on, go down, all the way. There we go. Yeah, I can tell the difference with the grease in there. on these the Stanley will probably take to work but that little short one I'm gonna keep here at the house
So nothing super fancy with these wrenches, but they're nice. They work. They're good. Since this doesn't have a company, a country of origin on it, I figure it's Chinese. And the dents that were on top, got almost all of them out. There's a nick right there. Still turned out pretty nice. This one polished up real nice. I don't I don't think this was used much at all, if it ever was. Still a nice little wrench. It's got a little bit, you see a little bit of play in there, but you know what? I don't care. It's mine. I can use it. It's not like it's, you know, you're not going to put 150 pounds of torque on this thing and expect it to survive. Same way with this. I mean, Turned out good, except for the dents and dings on the top of it. And if you didn't know, you'd think it was a new tool. New to me. Clean, neat, looks good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. And subscribe if you like what you see. Thumbs up, thumbs down, I appreciate it. Thank you.